The Federal Reserve has raised interest rates another three quarters of a percentage point to try to bring down prices. And the average American family is paying an extra $500 a month due to inflation. And new numbers from the U.S. Bureau of Economic Analysis show the U.S. economy contracted once again in the second quarter with GDP shrinking by just under a percentage point. It is the second quarter in a row, raising fears that a recession is on the horizon. 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker verifies what a recession is and whether we're already in one. Well, those predictions, which vary between mild and severe, along with some of the underlying economic picture, impact everything from Wall Street to Main Street. But does that mean the U.S. is in an actual recession right now? So let's verify, what is a recession and are we in one? Our sources, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the nonprofit National Bureau of Economic Research and Supply Chain Research Expert with Grand Valley State University, Brian Long. Right now, we cannot declare that we are in a recession. There is no hard and fast consensus about what actually constitutes a recession. One of the most common benchmarks is two consecutive quarters of negative GDP growth which is what the numbers showed Thursday. We have modified that to include real personal income, production, wholesale and retail activity. The National Bureau of Economic Research really determines when a recession begins. The Bureau's business cycle dating team uses a broader, more complex set of data to say yes or no. Defining the period between peaks and troughs on the chart with all of that data the Bureau uses three criteria to do that, depth, diffusion, and duration. Each aspect has to be considered both individually and altogether. But, quote, extreme conditions revealed by one criterion may partially offset weaker indications from another. Consumer liquidity is very high right now, which is not typical of what happens. Add in factors like the labor market. Stats from the U.S. Labor Bureau show the unemployment rate on the decline even from the beginning of 2022. Then there's job creation, averaging around 450,000 a month since January, which is not characteristic of a recession. However, if that number starts to dry up, the bubble always bursts. And if that bubble does burst, obviously at that point we are in a recession. So we can verify by some metrics we are but many show we aren't in a recession, though many do seem to agree on one thing. If it's not here yet, the U.S. will see at least a mild recession at some point this year. With your Verify in Muskegon, I'm Charlie Tinker. First